to another edition of Coming Soon, in which I discuss discs that I've received that will be coming soon to an e-tailer. I'd say retailer, but sadly we live in a world where not a lot of uh, physical media shows up physically in physical stores anymore. So coming soon to you, however you get your discs. I've got a stack of discs here that we'll talk about and look at uh, potentially for the first time, and uh, off we go. So coming soon from Synapse Films is McBain. This is a film that I've heard of, I've never seen. It's, uh, I think I remember seeing this in the video store. And there's something about Christopher Walken and Maria Conchita Alonso uh, with just huge guns uh, and explosions that seems a little weird to me, but, uh, uh, but here it is. So uh, when Prisoner of War Robert McBain, Academy Award winner Christopher Walken uh, of The Deer Hunter is rescued in the jungles of North Vietnam by a group of rangers, he expresses his thanks and gratitude. The leader of the rangers, Santos, Chick Venera, 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 uh, takes out a $100 bill, tears it in two, gives McBain half and says, if the other half of this bill ever finds you, pay me back. 18 years later, Santa, I'm going to read the whole back of this box. 18 years later, Santos is killed in Colombia while leading a fight against drug lords and corrupt politicians. His sister, Christina, that's Maria Conchita Alonso of Predator 2 and The Running Man, this reminds me, goes to New York with the other half of the bill and seeks out McBain to enlist his help in overthrowing the Colombian regime. So this is a new uh, uh, Blu-ray of this. Special features, 5.1 surround soundtrack created specifically for this release, original theatrical stereo mix also included, which I appreciate. Sometimes new mixes, uh, if it's a movie you know and love, if, if you're somebody who knows and loves McBain really well, uh, sometimes a new mix you don't like. Sometimes it drops things or rearranges things, and sometimes it's nice to just hear it the original way. Uh, so that's nice that they do that. Audio commentary with director James Glickenhaus and film historian Chris Pajali, who I actually know. That's wild. It's always wild to, to see a friend of mine show up on a Blu-ray. Uh, original theatrical trailer, newly translated, removable English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. This is 101, 104 minutes from 1991, 178, which means it will exactly fit your HDTV. And uh, that's rated R on Blu-ray. What's the inside of that look like? We get the disc, and we get a little Synapse catalog, which is cool. So that's great. McBain, coming soon. I've actually arranged these. I can't tell you exactly when these are coming out. Some of them are very soon. Some of them are, are a bit into July. But I've actually arranged these in release order, so I do know that much. Now, from, uh, this is from IndiePix, IndiePix Unlimited Prime Video Channels. We have In the Arms of Morpheus. I know nothing about this, so let's find out. Let yourself be taken to a place where rational laws do not apply. Sleep. Simple in its basic description, elusive in attempts at a comprehensive understanding and evolve its manifestations. What happens behind closed doors when we lose consciousness and give ourselves over to dreams? And how is our perception of reality changed when the line between waking and sleeping is blurred? In this revelatory... Oh, it's a documentary. I did not expect that from the cover. In this revelatory documentary, Mark Schmidt introduces us to several people suffering from sleep disorders. He unobtrusively helps to see and feel what it's like to suffer from insomnia and be trapped between a dream and reality. When sleep ceases to be an automatic part of life, we find new ways of looking at our existence. This sounds really interesting. Uh, this is from 2019. It is 82 minutes, and it is from the Netherlands. So it's Dutch with English subtitles. And that is coming on DVD from uh, IndiePix. Nothing to see inside, so I'm a bother. Okay, I will tip my hand that I actually have started watching this disc, and I, I love it. So, mini review here. stooge -rama, the men behind the mayhem, and even more mayhem. So what this is, is an expanded version. This has been out on DVD before. It's an expanded version of an A&E biography that was done about the Three Stooges in the 90s called The Three Stooges, the Men, or Stooges, the Men Behind the Mayhem. Um, it was expanded for video to a, bit, a little bit over an hour. I want to say it's like 62 minutes. And then there are additional interviews, additional interview outtakes with some of the people who, who, knew, who knew the Stooges or appreciated the Stooges on this. And then you get two more Blu-rays. So uh, you get the front of the box, which looks like that. You get the back, which you can't read on this video. And then you get multiple discs, one of which is still currently in my player, of uh, extras. So I can tell you a little bit about what this is. And this says right here, eight hours of unseen extras, and that's what perked me up because I love the Three Stooges, I'm a huge fan, and for years, you're gonna get part of the review again when I actually properly review this. Over the years, uh, there'd be these different video compilations and it's stuff in trading circles, and now with YouTube, a lot of it's on YouTube, but there'd be these things from Good Times Home Video called like uh, the Three Stooges Festival, and then later on they put some on DVD, and there'd be little clips of all these different interviews and TV appearances they did in the 50s and 60s, and it was, it was like a, 
tantalizing tease. Like, I'd be like, well, I'd like to see the rest of that Steve Allen appearance, or I'd like to see that entire talk show Mo is on. This gives you that. From what I've seen so far, I've only gone part way in, but disc one is just the men behind the mayhem, the extras related to that. And I think maybe a little bit more. There might be some home movies. Or no, there's two still galleries that are really good on that. And then disc two is just... A, interview of this with the stooges like out of character outside having a picnic with their family and of home movies color home movies from the curly era to the curly joe era of them sometimes on set little snippets of them on set now i haven't gone through this whole thing and again for all i know some of this was just taken from youtube but i've always wanted the this wildly non-commercial idea of all of these bits and pieces of three stooges ephemera just in one set so i can get rid of all the other discs and tapes that I have. And so far, uh, Stoogerama looks like it's gonna help me do that. So that's pretty cool. That is out from MVD Visual, Kit Parker Films and Cine Museum. And it's an all region Blu-ray. That comes out, I believe, I wanna say that's July 11th that comes out. As always, look in the notes under this video because I will put links to buy or pre-order all of these things and the release dates and the companies that put them out because I can't be bothered to learn any of that before I record the video. Okay, also coming out from MVD Visual and Cleopatra Entertainment is Shin Ultraman. I did get a chance to see this theatrically several months ago or maybe it was last year. This is the newest Ultraman feature film, Ultraman Japanese superhero TV show. He can go from a regular guy to growing kaiju size and fighting giant monsters, and it's just a lot of fun. This movie was no exception. This movie uh, is easy to get into if you don't know the history of Ultraman. They give you a decent enough time. Well, it's actually like a new origin story for Ultraman, so you don't need to know anything about Ultraman going into this, but it feels like the old TV show, but with good effects. But not, not to say the old show wasn't good effects. I'm saying it feels like the old TV show with effects that kind of look like the old TV show, but modernized just enough with CGI so that it feels contemporary yet in the past, if that makes any sense. I guess I'm also reviewing this film too right now. Um, so bonus, bonus features, you have a trailer, slideshow. You can hear it in the original Japanese 5.1 language or optional English stereo or 5.1 language, uh, subtitled in English if you watch the Japanese. It is also an all region disc. And you open it up and it's just, you know, it's a picture of uh, the cover. So that's cool. So I will say, I will, you know, tip my hand and say I thought this movie was a lot of fun. That comes out, I believe, also on July 11th from MVD. Then from Radiance Films. I uh, always say Radiance Films is an offshoot. Somebody who once worked for Aero Video in the UK formed Radiance Films to put out a lot of just really obscure, mostly European films. And I haven't loved everything they've put out, but I love that they are putting them out. So anyway, let me actually show you what it is. From 1977, it is the Italian, I believe, crime drama, The Iron Prefect. Now, I've never seen this, so I can't really tell you anything about it beyond what it says in the box. This is the English subtitled Blu-ray premiere. Stars Giuliano Gemma, Claudia Cardinal, Francisco Rabal, and a score by Ennio Morricone. So, you know, nobody with any talent had anything to do with this. A film by Pasquale Squitieri, and it was the winner of the best Italian, the best film at the Italian Academy Awards, I guess. And best actor, a ruthless new city prefect wages a war against the mafia in Pasquale, who made the film The Climber, which Arrow put out. Uh, Squitieri's celebrated crime film with Gemma playing against type as the lawman. Archival interviews with Squitieri and Gemma. New interview with Squitieri. I'm probably mispronouncing these names, as I normally do. Biographer Domenico uh, Manetti, Alex Cox on Gemma. Booklet with new writing by Guido Bonsever and more. A reversible sleeve. It's limited to 2,000 copies. So that's the front. The covers are always really classy, and they always have the Japanese-style obi strip on these, which is inside the uh, slipcase, but or inside the cover, but you can slip out if you want to. So the inside looks a little something like that. And we have a reversible cover. Oops, reversible cover. And then we have, uh, as always, a, a not insubstantial book. Unsubstantial? We've got a little book about the film with uh, a whole lot of words and pictures that I will read at some point. So that is on the way from Radiance Films in July. Also, new to me, this, is, this just arrived, like I just got up. I just hit record after I got back from the mailbox. What the Waters Left Behind Scars. This is a horror film. Uh, let's see, looks like it is, well, let me read about it. It is not of American origin or Canadian. Uh, rock will tear us apart. An Anglo-American indie rock band that ends up stranded in the desolate city of Epikin. 
Their internal conflicts and bad luck of their tour quickly fade when they begin to discover the bloody hell that awaits them. This looks like a bloody movie, bloody rock and roll movie. Uh, I do not know where this came from. Again, look below for more information than I can give you. It's 85 minutes long, for which I thank them. Bonus features are a trailer and a slideshow, and it is uh, 2023, I guess. 2023 release, at least. What the Waters Left Behind. Scars. So the last film is one that I'm very excited to see. This is a film that I saw on videotape originally. It was an old VHS rental at a... At a aunt and uncle's house when we were visiting for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and it was from the, the old Nostalgia Merchant tape. So if you know what any of that means that I just said, you know, it didn't look that great, but it looked okay. Look, that's what we had. It looked fine. But uh, this is a new 4K restoration of from uh, at the NFSA and the George Eastman Museum from Ignite Films. This is Invaders from Mars. This is the classic 50s Little kid looks out his bedroom window one night, sees some kind of weird shining light over the hill, walks over, sees a spaceship. Then one by one, all the adults in the town start being very emotionless and have a little scar in the back of their neck. And what's going on? It's the Invaders from Mars, remade by Toby Hooper in 1986. So this is, uh, yeah, this has been long awaited for, from sci-fi and classic movie fans. And what do we have here? The bonus features. Brand new 4K restoration of the film, restored from the original camera negative and master positives, record, restored 4K original 53 trailer, and a newly commissioned trailer for 2022. Interviews with star Jimmy Hunt, who was a little boy, William Cameron Menzies biographer James Curtis, and recollections of Menzies' eldest granddaughter Pamela Lawson. Featurette with acclaimed film directors John Landis, Joe Dante, editor Mark Goldblatt, special visual effects, and two-time Oscar winner Robert Skotak. Skotek, yes, uh, sorry. Foremost expert on invasion from Mars and enthusiast and film preservationist Scott McQueen. John Sayles' introduction at Turner Classic Movie Festival in Hollywood, April 2022. Before and after clips of the restoration, I love that kind of stuff. Uh, original negative and archival film elements with film restoration supervisor Scott McQueen. Restored segments in 2K of the alternate international version, alternate ending and extended planetarium scene. Gallery with original press pages, behind-the-scenes photos from the restoration process, 20-page collector's booklet featuring an extensive essay on the restoration process, Invaders from Mars, A Nightmare of Restoration, I bet it was, by Scott McQueen. Uh, the film is 73 minutes. Films were shorter in the old days. Not always. I always think films were shorter because they were always intended to be part of a double bill and they weren't, you know, bloated and crazy. And then I see a film from the 40s that's 122 minutes and that means I'm very wrong. Uh, aspect ratio is 137, so that's square. And the year is 1953. You can have English or Spanish audio. You can have English, SDH, Italian, French, German, Portuguese, Japanese, or Korean subtitles. It is an Ultra HD Blu-ray, and it is not rated because it was made in the 50s. So what we have when we open it up is, let me just give you a little bit better orientation there for, for photo, photographic purposes. You get your disc, you get your booklet, which is, oh wow, that is substantial. So it appears that <clears throat> this is only a 4K disc. Now I believe this is also being released, um, and you know it's 4K because it says it across the top. I believe this is also being released on regular Blu-ray, if you don't have a 4K player, and I, I wanna say DVD as well. So I'm talking about the 4K when I review it, I'll be reviewing the 4K, but don't think that that shuts you out of owning it if you don't have a 4K player. Uh, yeah, so the, the booklet, also rather, rather substantial there. I look forward to reading that. This is a movie that I've always liked. It's a, it's a good nightmare fuel film. It movie plays like a weird fever dream for, for a little kid. And uh, there it is. So that's all I have to talk about today. That's all that's coming soon that I've just received since we last did one of these. Full reviews coming on this YouTube channel. And if you, as I said, if you look below, I say it again like you're tuning in late on this. This isn't TV or radio. If you look below, all of the buying links are down below to get to these through Amazon. And on Amazon, there will be full specs and probably things I forget to mention. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you once again the next time I have things to talk about that are coming soon.